Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, I've got huge news that should serve to motivate you guys and really put you in a positive mood for a moment. All right, so I'm gonna just gonna tell you, Biden came out and he flat out endorsed the filibuster. He said we need to keep it in place. I'm gonna dive into it a lot deeper, and then I'm also gonna show you how the left is reacting, which is more evidence for what we've been saying together of we are in a better place than a lot of people think we are. Before I get too deep into that, I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you are an older subscriber or a new subscriber, thank you. You guys are helping build the revolution and the evolution of the gun world. And the new one is going to be crazy. If you're just now stopping by and this is your first time, we try to earn subscriptions from people who review these videos. And hopefully, if you find it worth it, you'll come back for another one. But that's what we try to do. So let's get to it. Okay? Here's the content. Biden came out yesterday, and I've linked both of these videos below for your review. So Biden's press secretary came out on MSNBC yesterday, Jen Psaki, you know, circle around Psaki, or circle around Jen, I can't remember her name, whatever, basically said flat out with no uncertain terms that Biden supports the filibuster and he wants to keep it in place and he sees it as a valuable tool going forward in the legislative process. Okay, i.e., that's pretty much the Democratic top saying, yeah, the filibuster's here to stay. More importantly, this was on MSNBC. Now, MSNBC is a far-left organization that speaks to far-left far supporters. They're literally telling their supporters, the filibuster's here to stay. That is what this is. That is forecasting. That is lowering those expectations. That is setting new expectations. I'm telling you, that's what that is. Now, as more evidence to the fact that the filibuster is going to stay strong, at least in my opinion, as of the making of this video, if you guys ever watch this show on YouTube called The Young Turks, okay, fair warning, it is so far left, it is like progressive screaming socialist left, okay? They are freaking out. The Anna, Anna Kasparian, one of the hosts over there, she does this entire diatribe against um, Joe Manchin from West Virginia and saying basically the Democrats are going to get nothing done because he's holding strong on the filibuster and it's not going anywhere. And she also drags in Kirsten Sinema from Arizona. Not sure I said her last name right, but that's another senator who supports the filibuster. Okay, guys. We have been saying this for two months now on the channel, you and I together, as we've been kind of going through this journey. This is a big deal. If they are coming out to MSNBC from the White House, the press secretary saying Biden wants to keep the filibuster in place, he basically just told the progressive left that's pushing to get rid of the filibuster to sit down. Okay? If the far lefties on the Young Turks are freaking out because the filibuster is not going anywhere, that's because they're pissed it's not going anywhere. These things are directly in line with what we've been talking about, quite honestly, in contrast to the rest of the gun world right this second. We have been talking about the Democrats have been disjointed. They have passed this bill in the House, but the odds without it going through and having no filibuster in the way, like almost zero. Okay, Biden came out and basically undercut the entire filibuster removal process that they're trying to get done. So that's not going to happen. He told his left-wing supporters, chill, this is not going to happen. And now the Young Turks are freaking out. This goes directly in line. Watch all the videos. Like, last 40 videos were all about the Democrats are disjointed. They're kind of going at it in a kind of a ram rambunctious kind of way, kind of not the best organization or leadership. And this is another step in that process. Guys, if you're keeping score at home, the next stop is this bill dying in the Senate. And it is looking more and more likely that that is not going to happen. The, or excuse me, that is not going to go through the Senate because the filibuster is going to remain in place. And Joe Manchin even supported and said, I'm never getting rid of the filibuster. Big deal. We are making moves in the positive direction, guys, and we need to take this a day by day, step by step, fight by fight. It's going to be a long two to four years. But with you and I together and other gun channels on the same page, we are going to make the impact and we will carry this through to the next generation. We can do this, guys. Keep up the good faith. Keep up the calling of the senators and the House representatives and let them know you're there. You guys have done great so far, and I can't wait until we come back tomorrow and I get to tell you that it looks like this bill is not in a great place. But until then, I'm Braden. See you later.